some to drink? Uh, sure. Yeah, thank you. How are you doing? Are you ready? Huh? Yeah. yeah. You've been mad at me. Hey, buddy. No, I wasn't mad at you. My family was a little upset about the posting of my dad. I did because I wanted people to pray. Remember, I talked I, to you I'm and Eddie, and I, yes. I prayed yeah, with you I'm, all about yep. it. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. Listen, it wasn't me. Like I said, um, my family, they're a little up. Well, I saw that. Yeah, because I was getting some Why do texts. Why you think I'm out here? I love them to death. They mean well, but they are very, you know, different. So. Use some um, crackers and so stuff much. like that. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I've been Thank staying you. away because I thought y'all didn't like me anymore. I said, no. well, I'm going to go and. I, no, I actually, I, I jumped all over them when I found out that they were calling the church and stuff. Um, I was very upset and I said something to them because I didn't think that was right. Because I know you're just out here doing good. I know that. Oh, well, yeah, they. You know, it's. I've funny. been doing this over 30 it's years. I mean, it's not like this is me. Because me and Eddie were just thought about you the other day and we were wondering you know we didn't know if you were still coming around at all oh yeah you know, i had been yeah, bad about the whole thing and i we were afraid that you know some bad money came out of it i didn't want no one in trouble no nothing like that no i didn't get in trouble okay yeah because i, I, so. I, I didn't think i'm the ceo right. i am the one that right. i started this ministry yeah exactly so. but somebody had told us that uh they didn't see you on facebook which you know how rumors are they didn't see you on facebook no more or nothing like that. Like oh yeah, the ministry is on Facebook for the churches. Yeah. So I have churches that, that donate. Yeah. And they got to know I'm doing something. Yeah, if of they're if so, and that's yeah. the only thing. And, um, yeah. Somebody said that you weren't doing, you know, and that you had quit doing it. No, 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 no. I didn't think so. I mean, yeah. I really didn't. I knew. Yeah. You know, I thought that was you over here, and I said, you know, I, is there one thing about me? me? I don't go out much. I you know, don't. I stay to myself. So if you don't see me, it's really like I said. You know, I, I've always been like that. I just well, um, I, I love you. I love Grandpa. I right. love. I love your dad to death. He's in jail right now. God forbid. Well, that fire messed him up. Yeah, and the whole thing about it is, is I, I really wanted people to pray for him. And you know what? I think it helped because yeah, um, it did. He, Listen, he almost. He, it, it was a miracle he made it. Yeah. It really was. It was a miracle. Yeah. And then I so who's this over here? That's Eddie. Remember Eddie? He shaved. <laughs> he got yeah, his haircut and got a shave. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to get a job. I don't stuff. even notice him. I mean, yeah. he doesn't even look like the same yeah, person. Yeah, he's trying to get a job. He's, you know, we're doing, you know, I mean, of course, we're still out here, out here, but you know what I mean? We're, we're doing a lot better than we were. We kind of yeah, isolated give it time. ourselves from the, all the whole group, just, you know, all the drama and people, but yeah, we're trying. That's all you can do. I'm gonna go do my cancer treatment, uh, you know, if it's not too late, because I, I guess I know I told you about all that. And so finally, like, you know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop being so scared and just go, you know, see, you know. But, um, yeah, I have my first cancer, my, not first cancer appointment, but since I was diagnosed three years ago, I never went back. So I don't even know how, you know, I just know that I've lost well over 100 pounds in those wow. two months. I was almost 200 pounds. Not even... So what year, stage are you? Year, two, three, You're in, stage three? Three years ago, I almost four years ago, it was stage three when I was diagnosed. They wanted me to do chemo. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I didn't even leave out my tent for like four or five months straight. Until everybody was like, you gotta get out of this tent. <laughs> so Grandpa's in jail? Yep. Since he's How long been the same. He's not been the same. This is the second time he's been in jail. Since um, the fire, and that's not even that long ago, and he's not this. I don't know who he is anymore. I don't know. Him. I hope he gets out soon. So. I heard that it depends on whether it was during the day or at night. And really? Yeah. Whether they're open or oh, okay. home That lives there during the day. You're thinking maybe they're not home, but at night you gotta know they're home. It's the way somebody went to the other day. So it's like you gotta know there's. A very good chance at nighttime you're gonna run into someone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be in there. So they turn it into burglary, I guess. Instead of breaking it and entering. Mm. I guess. Yeah. And then did you hear about I got some like, treats for your dog too. I'll, have, I'll go back okay. over there and get them. Yeah. People laugh because her and my cat follow me everywhere. <laughs> so they call them cat dog, cat dog. And they run around yeah. playing. It's cool. Yeah. But um, I know you heard about the rest, you know. I don't gotta be running the street. All of them in the spaces, you know, it's not me. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, that's Eddie if you want to say hey. I'm going to give him something. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's really good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too. I'm, 
I'm, gl I'm glad you're not mad at me because I don't come no, out here to sir. make people mad. I, I never was. I, I come mean, out here just to try to help. Listen, if I can. one thing about me, like, I try to, you know, I, like, understand everybody's point of view. And I knew just from watching you do what you do out here that it wasn't just, you weren't just, like, I No, no, no. I, I never manipulate the homeless. I never I try to that. use you for anything. Yep. I um, think that some, I just, that some things that I guess some people were upset about with the comments, some people make very negative comments. I always defend y'all. Yeah. Always defend y'all. I've never been on it. I've never seen any of Because I don't have a Facebook. I don't go on social media. There's what they call trolls that'll go by. Yeah. And they'll say, ah, they're worthless. Boom, blah, 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 oh, blah. Right, yeah. And yeah. they do that stuff, but see, uh, I, I See, don't. I never even got a chance to see any of the stuff that they were talking about and all that. Because, like I said, I quit Facebook and all that a long time ago for a reason. Because of that same, you know, hatred. That hatred, yeah. I just can't. This world yeah. is not the same. No, actually, there's one thing for sure. I always defend y'all. Yeah. I have always done that. I've That's why I couldn't understand how everybody was getting mad at me. How's Robert and Tina doing? Are they still there? Or they leave town. No, they moved down. I think they, uh, Eddie knows exactly where. Okay. Like I said, I don't move much, you know, much. But um. Yeah. Last I saw, place. last I saw them, they were heading down towards the air station. No, they. I think over down by. Um, Rosada. Army or something like that. Yeah, he'll tell you. He can tell you about. Oh, where. Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. Like in somewhere, by, like by a paint store, too. Yeah. It, it's near. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know exactly. Um, I've never been there, but he has. Well, the Salvation Army's down there. Yeah, and, um, going towards like Bay Street and stuff like that. Uh, McDonald's Way. Like, it's... Yeah, it's right. It's almost across... Uh, Salvation Army's almost across from Lowe's over here. Oh, so it's not that far at all? No, no, no. You could walk it. It's pretty... Okay, see, I was thinking they were way farther. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, and you got Mike lives back behind okay. there. Because I feed him, too, as well. Okay, all right. So, yeah. It was... But yeah, they're doing pretty good. As far oh, as I want your know. pizza to get cold. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's There's you something to drink. I'm going to give this to him. Okay. Ashley, okay. it was good seeing you. Alright. Hey, Eddie. Good boy. That's got some crackers and stuff in there for and Thank stuff. You. And um, I just, I mean, there's a Gatorade. And I just talked to Ashley and stuff. And, you know, I told her I'm glad she's not <laughs> mad at me. I said, uh, <laughs> they're, they're misunderstanding with her dad. I said, because I love you guys. And I've always tried to come out here and do right. Yeah. And, um, and as far as, uh, she mentioned about comments people make and stuff like that. I've always defended you guys. Yeah. Always defended you. But I know y'all were mad at me for a while there, and I was like, I, just, I don't know what I, I did. I stay away from everything, you know what I mean, that way yeah. it ain't. Well, I just try to keep the churches informed on what's going on as far as being able to get y'all food yeah. and things like that. And if everybody's still in it, I can start coming out with hot meals again. But right now, I quit because I didn't think anybody wanted it. But we so scattered right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I see that. We had everybody in one area, and then... They come in and started running us from here and running us from there. And yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out what this new law is. We got a lady coming. We got a lady that comes in on Fridays, and they she brings us food. Yeah. And um, she was saying something about they're trying to pass a new law here in Buford about um, the homeless. Something about if they catch us out here um, panhandling or doing anything like that, they're gonna try and lock us up. Which I'm trying to figure out what all that's about. Well, they've already gone and took petitions through the stores for y'all not to be out here. Right. And um, they made a big deal about that. And um, I don't see what the big deal is. Um, if they not out here robbing their stores and well, doing nothing stupid, If man. they just, yeah, if you know they would come mean? out here and try to help instead of complaining about it. Right. So, but no, I've, I've talked to a lot of people about that situation. Yeah. Because across the street is Buford County and on this side here, I, I think it's either over there that's um, Buford City and then Buford County is on one side. Right. So it's, and um, they, well, they see, make. Both right here, on both sides right here, until you get to the red light down here, is city. And then once you hit that red light there, or either you go down here, and time as you turn on the dirt road right there by Goodwill, and you go about a quarter of the way into the field, you're, in, you're, on, you're, on, the, you're on the county property. But on this side, you're on the city property. 
Yeah. It's crazy, man. We did all the schematics and you know all that shit of everything. That way we could see where we could be. Which they got some surveyors to come through. And yeah, I the thought they were factor. selling. Yeah, I thought they were going to sell they, it. Um, they sold the track where we was at, and they run us off of there, and they. So me and her got away from everybody because I got tired of people. Stealing. I heard and a lot I'm of that stuff belly, was going on. You know on. what I mean? I, I, if I catch them stealing, I'm in trouble. You know? I understand. And she don't want me in no trouble, but I know if I see somebody going in with well, I've heard a lot. Of, yeah, I've heard a lot of y'all talking about your stuff keeps getting stolen from yeah. somebody or. And we we can't find out who the hell it is. Yeah, because I think even. Um, I even Robert, set up trail cams and just sent them around my trail cams. Somebody. He's found my trail cams and literally went behind everything and come in through the backside of my. <laughs> well, I mean, I set up three trail cams, dude. Did not catch him on truck. I caught one person, and it happened to be my brother's girlfriend, which he got. He, he's in um, Florence, and um, he's doing awesome. I mean, he's doing awesome. That's good. I mean, he's doing awesome. No, I had. Um, I was giving tents and stuff out a few years back, and uh, there was somebody going around, and when uh, the homeless would leave their tent, they were burning them down. They were burning their tent up with all their stuff in it. That. We got somebody starting that again. We had a tent go on fire three days ago. Four, no, five days ago. My, excuse me, my bad, five days ago. We had one go up in flames. Yeah, somebody starting that shit again. Yeah. Ashley told me Grandpa was in jail. Yeah. And then they locked up um, three of our homeless girls and a black guy. They had broke into a damn, I don't know if they broke into the damn apartment or if somebody else had broke the lock and showed them that it was broke and they was going in the apartment and staying and doing all kind of shit. You don't do that, man. I mean, that's somebody else's place. Don't go, even if it is a vacant dwelling, they're trying to rent that back out. Yeah. Don't go in there and mess that up with them people. Well... If you see me out here, I'm not out here to try to hurt you guys or make you look bad or anything like that. I'm out here to try to help. And, um, you know, uh, because I put, because I had asked y'all when I prayed with y'all down that path over there, remember? Y'all told me Grandpa got burned in the tent and stuff. And I said, if you don't mind, I'm going to have some people pray. So I posted him on Facebook for people to pray for him. And it seemed like, man, I, I got... A lot of response saying they're praying for him, they're praying for him. Then all of a sudden right. I got some saying, take that blankety blank stuff off, man. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what did I do wrong? Right. And then all of a sudden I heard that you and Ashley were mad at me. And I'm like, and then. Ashley got pissed off and took it a little wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just stayed clear of everything because I just, I don't like all the drama. And, and I understand you know that. You know what I mean? So I just stayed and, clear um, and you guys understand, I'm I'm not out here to ever try to manipulate you um, or, or try to hurt you. I'm out here to try to help. Yes, I'd be wasting, my, why would I waste my time right. to come, come out, out here and hurt you? Right. Unless I had to be a really nuthead, right. you know. But I'm a preacher, so I'm, I want to come and, <laughs> I want to come and help. I mean, right. you know, so just remember, I'm not out here to hurt you well, guys. Listen, can you do me a favor? What you need? We had an old fella. They got stranded down here from Texas. Now, about a week ago, he did something he wasn't supposed to, and he got beat up a little bit. Now, I got a couple people telling me that the fella got killed. Is there any way we can find out about that? Oh, the guy that got killed? Mr. Robert, old man. Oh. From Texas. He got killed? I don't know. Oh. That's what I'm trying to find out, Mr. Tom. Um, because I got a couple people telling me he did, and I got a couple, I got one When guy, was he supposed to have gotten killed? Somewhere down here next to the tire station. How long ago? Um, less than a week. His name's Robert? Yeah. I just can't remember his last name. He's got a son named Landon that lives in Texas. Because he come down here on business. And him and his boss had a disagreement. Well, 
his boss just didn't give him his money, left him here. And the poor fella, his family didn't have no money or nothing, so he's been stuck here. So I took him in with us for a while, and then when they come and made all of us move, instead of him moving with me and my wife, like I asked him to, he went his way, which I can't blame him, he's a grown man. Right. You know what I mean? I just asked him to try to help him. And he did a few things, you know, and got in a little bit of, you know, a little bit of BS with some people. And I straightened it out for him. And I told him straight up, I said, you know, you can't run around out here and do that because there is people out here that will hurt you bad. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll look and it up. I'll see what I can find out about please that. Please do. Because, I mean, I, 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 I at least uh, owe the man's son to get in contact with him. You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. Well, I agree with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I mean, the, his daddy's all the boy had left. You know? And the kid ain't but 27 years old. And, I mean, if his pops did come down here and something like that happened to him, yeah, that's messed up. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's messed up. Man. I mean, we catch enough hell out here, you know, did he stay out here? Was he uh, homeless out here? Yeah, he stayed with us for a while, Tom. I mean, therefore, all right. I can't remember where he was working here. He's working on TJ Maxx or one of these one of these buildings here. And him and his boss got into it. And he threw a brick through his boss's window. And then he started staying behind the old Verizon. And he would go from the old Verizon up there to Fast Freddy's in the box truck. And he would go back and forth, back and forth, you know what I mean? And um, then um, I got talking with him, got to know him a little bit, and I invited him to come stay with me and my wife. And he come over there, and my wife got to know him as Uncle Robert, and, you know, she was comfortable around him, so if I had to go do some stuff, I'd leave her with him. You could trust him. Because I trusted him. And he never shit me, he never did me no wrong, you know what I mean? And he was a good old fella. Now, he had his ways about him. Uh, yeah, there's a few folks been, been killed out here, yeah. and um, I used to feed Danny down there, um, and he got killed at the motel over there, the Oasis. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then um, I knew him good. And then um, um, who was that? That was flat out murder there. Yeah, and then the other young girl that got. Um, she had gotten straightened out, come back out here, and then she died. Um, she overdosed. Um, oh, you're talking about Andy. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking she about. She was staying with Andy there for a while. Oh, uh, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Me yeah. Her daddy go way back. I, I, I got a place out in the country, man. And I didn't realize who her daddy was until I got to talking to Stacy. Yeah. And um, Stacy told me, she, she told me who her daddy's name was. I looked at her and I said, Stacy, I said, look at me for a second. I said, you really don't know who the hell I am? She said, I said, Stacy, think about it for a second. I said, you was a little girl and you used to come out there and I was skinning deer and you was damn running around with no shoes on, running all through the blood. <laughs> come on now, think about it. And she thought about it for a second, looked at me and she said, Eddie? I said, yeah. And, but I knew her family real good and I was, yeah, I fed her a few times there, and she always seems happy. She was, and, you know, she was very happy. Yeah, she was always nice. She was, she was very, very nice. Well, see, that's that's what I try to tell a lot of people. You know, the court systems, they, they need to realize a lot of times, a lot of these people that they're making go through drug court or something like that, bro, they're not ready to get off the dope. When they're ready, they'll, they'll seek help. Yeah. But if you just pull these people off these streets, and send them through rehab. Try to make them by do it. there by force. Yeah. They when they come it. back out, they're gonna try to do the same thing they were doing. It's gonna kill them, bro. I mean, I it's gonna kill them. I understand. And I mean, I can't tell you how many people out here that I've had to hit with Narcan or something like that because of stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I see you. it all the time, dude. And I mean, I've saved countless lives out here. Yeah. But you don't ever hear nothing about that, bro. You know what I mean? All you hear is, oh, the homeless people, the homeless people. I'm homeless by force. 
house right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't got the money to rebuild my house right now. And I damn sure ain't, especially when I got locked up, lost my house, had my job all in the same week. Well, everything's Bro, expensive. I, I, ain't, I ain't got, you know, I ain't got to do it with yeah. And it is what it is, man. And I sympathize with all that stuff, and that's why I try to help. That's why I don't come out here to try to hurt you guys. I come out here to try to be a blessing. I understand that. Awesome. So, you know. I understand that, buddy. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to hinder you from... Uh, they give me money if they want to or not. <laughs> be good, Eddie. It, yes, sir. Like that? You know, she's the best dog I've ever had. Thank if so she'll much. eat them, I'm there. It, she says, will. it says peanut butter. She's no, they so love peanut funny butter. though. She will not eat them in front of your face. She'll wait till you turn your back and then eat them. You know, as she was actually raised by a, a dog trainer. She's so smart. She does tricks. She brings in my shoes and drops them at my feet. Like she's the best dog I've ever had. She's amazing. <laughs> but she watches my every move. Everywhere I go, she's gonna be right there. <laughs> Who's that um, lady that was right there? I was going to bring her That's something. That's Katie. Uh, she, I don't know where she took off to. But I'm going to run over there and drop okay. them a couple bags off over okay, there. Okay, thank you. That's nice of you, too. Thank you. Yeah. And he was happy to see you. Are you going to see her again? I will. If, if you don't, I will. She stays right there, not far from us, so I got you. Thank you so if much. You see her. If you see her, let her know I got it, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I think I remember what she looked like. Well, I know what she looks like, so... <laughs> Thank you so much. Ashley, you'll be good. Take care. Okay? All right. Well, see you, puppy. Hopefully we'll see you again. You will. Um, okay, bye. I'm just trying to establish things. I can start bringing hot meals out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but just know we're, we're, we're okay, okay? All right. Be good.